Welcome to The Metal Voice. Today on the show, the one and only, the singer of loudness, Minoru Nihara. How are you doing, Minoru? Good, good. How are you today? Very, very well. Let's start off things very easy. There's a new album coming out, Rise to Glory, going to be released in January. Uh -huh. can, can you tell me about the musical direction of this album compared to the last album? Okay, let me say it in Japanese. あのね、とてもあの、ボーカルのメロディーに高崎さんがすごい力を入れて今回は全回のがすごいヘビーなサウンドに集中したんだけど、今回そういう意味ではボーカルを中心にそう楽曲を作ったっていうアプローチ。
so far it's a, it's Japan only, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully maybe it can get released outside of Japan as well. Songs off the new album. I just want to go back to that for a bit. So there's one song called Massive Tornado, which is excellent. Uh, can you just tell me about, is that just like heavy metal in general, like a tornado or the band, or is it actually a massive tornado? Okay. Well, the uh, massive tornado is well. Tornado is the band is the band you know loudness, and uh, what the uh, lyrics say are that you know the band is active and uh, explosive and uh, gonna gonna be attacking the world like a tornado. So uh, tornado is loudness. So the most is one Thunder in the east, hurricane eyes. Lightning strikes, and then tornado. So, like, so you just to ten, 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 <laughs> so, uh, uh, Massive Tornado almost became the album title. The, uh, there were, the last two candidates for the album were Massive Tornado and Rise to Glory, but uh, Rise to Glory got the uh, album title. Okay. Why and for whom? That's a war theme, I guess. Can you tell me about that? Okay. Uh, it's actually a very difficult thing that uh, Minoru san had to tackle, and uh, it is about uh, uh, hypocritical anti war people and, um, you know, being anti war is a very, you know, very good, it's okay, but uh, there are some uh, irresponsible people who just say, who say, who say no to war for the sake of saying no to war. And uh, Minoru san's idea is that uh, in case something happens, uh, we need to protect our children. So, so it's not just you know uh, anti-war for the sake of anti-war. It's uh, you know there are there will be occasions when we need to protect our land and to protect our people. So it's a very uh, you know very peculiar situation in Japan. Let's go back in time, which fascinates me. How a band from Japan during the Illusion tour and Thunder from the East. <clears throat> how you didn't speak the language, but you toured the whole continent of North America. And it, I mean, how does, how do you feel being so isolated? I mean, not knowing what everybody's talking about around you, you had a translator, I remember, but I mean, how, how do you feel like touring, you know, the world and not understanding what everybody was saying back then? Now you understand English, but back then it must've been really difficult. <laughs> ちょっとパラノイアみたいになったけどもでもねロックミュージシャンってそんな言葉それほどたくさんあの必要なくて言ってるあの単語とかねそのね僕ガールフレンドがアメリカ人だったから結構日常的な言葉の会話ってあの早
Uh, yes, um, Minoru-san you know, nearly became paranoid when uh, the band toured uh, America or Europe for the first time. But uh, soon he realized that uh, it, being a rock musician, you know, you don't really need uh, to speak the, the, be able to speak the language. And uh, Minoru-san had a, an American girlfriend, so uh, he, caught, he caught on to the uh, English language very early on. And of course, uh, there were difficult times when, uh, during the interviews, he would be asked some uh, like difficult topics to uh, deal with, like let's say politics. But uh, being a rock musician, uh, you you know you didn't really need to be uh, precise or uh, correct about uh, the lang English language. So it wasn't big, such a big problem. It's incredible how you learned to sing on so many albums where you didn't understand the language at the time. Uh, did you find it difficult in the studio recording with Thunder and East and Hurricane Eyes? I mean, all the albums that you wrote, you know, you sang in English. Did you find it really difficult? Since, did you even understand what you were singing? Uh, how, how did you learn <laughs> how to sing the songs? <laughs> it was very difficult to sing then, but do that. I know... みんなすごく時間がかかったんだけど、忍耐強く一緒にスタジオレコーディングしてくれて、僕はあのガイドボーカルっていうアメリカ人がまず歌ってくれたボーカルテイクを聞いて、それを聞いて勉強して発音の
so he was he was uh, sacked from the band. Um, well, well uh, Minora Sound feels that the uh, one of the reasons was that because uh, the Hurricane Ice uh, did not sell as many as the band expected, so uh, the band needed a new uh, well kick in the butt, well new excitement and. Uh, so, but still, it was a huge shock for uh, Minoru San, and uh, he almost he wept, and he needed ten years to recover from the shock. Wow! It's pretty, it was, wow! I didn't know that. Um, when you look back now at Soldiers of Fortune, the, I think it was two albums, right, with Mike. Uh, when you look back at the Mike Vizera years, uh, do you like the albums now, or just it's just too painful to listen to? でもマイクはね、だとあの、ボーカルさんが変わるとね、絶対に聞き書くされて、彼大変だと思うんですよ、やっぱり。でも、すごくマイクのベセラーのベセラーだと、必勝とおっしゃったと思って、僕はあのア
the band started that haven't been finished. So uh, they, the band wanted to uh, reach the goal that they have aimed for. Just looking back at your 27 albums, <laughs> 27 albums, um, <laughs> w w which, which is your favorite from all these years? And again, okay, let's not talk about the first one from the 26, let's say. Because of course it's brand new, the 27, you need some time, right, to understand it. But from the from all your catalogs, all your albums, which one is your favorite? ハルケアイズっていうアルバムが僕はあの個人的な大好きなんですけども、僕の僕のがあのいいいいだいいパフォーマンスをしてるのがあのまあすごく聴いてて楽しい。僕もいいし、まあその次がディスイルージョンってい
Uh, Konbanwa? Thank you. Konbanwa? Is that it? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, good evening. Uh, yeah, good evening for you, right? Good morning for me. Arigato okay. Arigato Jazimishita. Is that it? Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> no, I didn't pronounce it right. <laughs> Almost. Well, I, we could understand what you want to try to say. Good. Uh, thank yeah. you very much after the interview. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you in concert. Okay.